Okay. I think I have the bugs worked out of my um, how I'm going to post wine reviews. I obviously I, I cannot show my my face because I'm not allowed to give any kind of indication of my personal identity on discuss. But we don't care about my face. All we care about here is wine. We have a uh, a member of the Time for Wine community um, who goes by the name of Tetsi, T-E-T-S-E. And he had mentioned in a, in a thread where we were looking at um, uh, champagnes or sparkling wines, he had mentioned there that, that he and his wife really liked the Bogle Merlot and the Kendall Jackson Chardonnay. And, and I just mentioned that, that I would go out and pick up, uh, I'd go out and pick up both of them and, and then express an opinion, which um, probably isn't the best idea. He didn't ask me to express an opinion. And then if I wind up with a negative opinion of his favorite wine, I just made an enemy for life. Oh, well, um, it wouldn't be the first time that it happened on, on this forum. Uh, Okay, so I went out and I bought this Bogle Merlot. I told you I'd be buying wines at, at Walmart um, because that would be the best chance that, that everybody would be able to find this wine uh, or the wines that I talked about. I um, didn't do that. I, I went into the wine section in a grocery store about, um, uh, about a mile from Walmart but and I purchased it there, and I I know that that Walmart carries the the Bogle wines, at least out here. In my own defense, I when I bought these, we had a, a blizzard coming in, and it was um, well below zero, and I just didn't feel like getting in and out of my car one more time. So I picked up these wines at at a local uh, a local grocery store chain. And I wound up paying nine dollars and ninety eight cents um, plus some tax, so I wound up paying, uh, let's say ten fifty, ten sixty, for um, for this bottle of uh, Bogle Merlot. And then what I did after I set up my YouTube account, I actually did some research on Bogle Vineyards. I'm familiar with their wines. They're a large producer. And Bogle Vineyards were started in 1968. Uh, and their their tasting room is just south of Sacramento. And if you're south of Sacramento, you're not in Napa Valley. You're, you're I, I don't know, 40 miles, 50 miles east almost due east of, um, of Napa Valley, which, which is fine because I, I'm not married to Napa Valley at, in, at all. I mean, California produces some amazing, amazing, uh, wines. Um, and let's talk about Merlot a little bit. Merlot is, oh, oh, go to the website for Bogle Vineyards. You'll really enjoy it. They, they lease lands, they've purchased lands, they, they have all sorts of plots of vineyards all over um, that portion of California. And, um, and they're growing every kind of varietals you can imagine. So I, I really enjoyed their website. Merlot is one of the, um, it's one of the noble varietals of grapes and there are 18 noble varietals and a noble is just something that is a, is a type of um, of grape that generally has been around for quite a long time and it's grown extensively um, for wine production and I, I mean you, you'll know think you'll know most of the names and now there a lot of them are French and, and we just don't get them uh, but Chardonnay, Riesling, Sauvignon Blanc, Pinot Grigio, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, Merlot, Malbec, 
uh, Pinot Noir, and then there are some others that, that I'm not familiar with that are uh, that are considered nobles. Obviously, I was reading that. I, I wasn't just pulling all that out of my head. But the um, uh, a, a noble to me indicates that 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 grape can produce a um, a wine that is able to stand up on its own, that, that makes a very decent, uh, very drinkable, very enjoyable wine without having to uh, blend it with something else. Merlot definitely meets that criterion in that uh, you, you'll always find Merlot as a standalone wine, uh, but it's also used for blending with other wines just to give it more uh, in, in your California red blends you, or your red blends period you need to have some Merlot and some Cabernet just to give give uh, give the wine some spine uh, something to build on so they'll, they'll start with a Merlot Cabernet mix and then add in other uh, uh, other varietals that, that aren't as robust uh, maybe to soften the Merlot. Merlot is Merlot and Cabernet to me are acquired taste. If you hand a uh, a real dry Cabernet or a real dry Merlot to somebody who's who's not a um, not an experienced wine drinker, they're, they're probably not going to be very pleased. If you want to introduce somebody to wines, I would um, I would really try a, a rosé Zin or a um, uh, Pinot Noir um, and then go from there <laughs> maybe a Pinot Grigio but um, why make them drink out of the tap um, okay so I opened this this wine and uh, what I'll normally do I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not in, in any way a professional wine taster but I love everything about wine. So I will pour the wine into a glass and I will, I'll examine the color. I will enjoy, I will enjoy the color. Merlot is a, um, is a derivative of the French word for uh, blackbird, which is like Merlet or Merli. And I don't know any French. So it, it just says this is a black, wine and sure enough this Bogle Vineyards Merlot is, is very very dark and very rich and, and and just from the appearance you you want to taste this wine um, so I, after I examine the appearance and I I mean I'll swirl it I don't look at things like legs because legs to me there's different reasons why you have legs uh, if, and if you don't know what legs are, you're, you're not missing anything. Um, then what I'll do is I, I, I will, uh, I'll give a light sniff and then I give it a deeper sniff. And on this one, I gave it the light sniff. And I was immediately overpowered by uh, the smell of alcohol. If, if I was blindfolded and somebody had stuck this under my nose, I would swear that this was some kind of spirits, um, a, uh, uh, a whiskey. Um, just because the alcohol just, just uh, stormed into my nose. And, um, and I'm not used to that in a wine. So I, I, I definitely find that as a... Um, as a minus on this wine, and and it was so strong that um, I didn't even taste it. I, I said, "Wow, I, I want to um, I want to get some help on this." So I corked it back up, and I had some friends coming over for for dinner that night that were wine drinkers, and I said, "I want you to try this." And I no opinion, no nothing, and I, and I poured half a glass for each of them. And um, and then just sat back. And both of them, their immediate reaction was, whoa! 
um, there's some pretty strong alcohol in this thing. And it, and it isn't strong alcohol. I imagine it's 14%. Um, they have to have the ABV on there somewhere. Um, come on, girls. I should have looked. I apologize. And they, it has to. It's by law. They have to have the ABV. Um, good thing I'm not pregnant. Okay. Maybe it was right here on the front and I just didn't see it. Oh, what is that way down on the bottom written in invisible ink? I can't read that. It's right down there, Merlot, Cabernet. I think it's 13.9. Um, so, I mean, it's, it's not sitting here at 28% alcohol. Anyway. Um, so I tried it and the alcohol was still there. It still had that alcohol burn in my mouth. And I was so disappointed because I want my Merlot. I love Merlot. And all I got was booze. Um, so then from there, uh, I was able to pick up the oak. I could tell that it had been oaked. Um, which to me is always a very, very pleasant aspect of, of, uh, of bold reds. Uh, they, they did the oak very well. Unfortunately, all I got out of this bottle of Bogle Vineyards Merlot was um, booze and oak. I even, I tried, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to... Uh, it, it, it wasn't undrinkable by any means and sometimes you'll, you'll have a totally different experience with your second glass than your first but that wasn't the case I, second glass was still alcohol and uh, oak so um, I'm not real happy with this with this Merlot and I I probably just made an enemy for life with old Mr. Tetsy but what I would recommend um, no, I'm not going to recommend a thing. What I'd like is for anybody else to weigh in to say, hey, here's a really good Merlot at the $10 price point. Or, hey, Shandy, I went out and bought this and I love this Merlot. Um, I'd really like to hear from some other people about um, their experiences with... Uh, with this Merlot, this particular one, or another type of Merlot. And I apologize, this went on for 13 minutes because I'm rambling. Uh, I'll, I'll try to keep them under 10 minutes in the future. Bye.